Hey, it's Clay with Alabama Organic Gardening. I want to welcome you this afternoon to uh, my backyard. And this is the TP trellis video that I promised so long ago. Um, it is kind of a cool day here today. A little bit windy, so you'll have to forgive the recording uh, if there's a wind noise on it. But uh, the TP trellis is out there. And Luna's gone ahead of us to inspect it and check it out. So um, it's a little cool. It's about 55 degrees. Uh, I know some of you would think, man, that's warm. But it's cool for us down in Alabama. Uh, I've got some twine to finish up the trellis, the TP trellis. So why don't you join me as we uh, as we complete that? All right. So here's the TP trellis. That's it. And it's kind of on the left side of my yard in relation to the um, to the other part of the garden. But basically. What I did was um, I took these uh, these sticks that I had because I'm trying to use materials that I have here on the property and I, I pruned those limbs off of these trees right here and my crepe myrtles and uh, what I did was I, I took some twine and I just used them used the twine and the sticks to uh, to make longer sticks where I where I didn't have long enough ones and I made a little teepee out of them it's pretty cool really easy it only took me a uh, maybe a, an hour to do the whole thing. The biggest part was preparing the ground and making sure it was it was really nice and uh, uh, well tilled and, and everything for the for the plant. So let me let me show you what I got in the ground. So right here I've got uh, some radishes, cherry radishes that I planted. Uh, I started those in, indoors. You guys have seen those before. They ended up really really leggy, as you can see. So I'm hoping that they do well, but if they don't, it's fine. I've got plenty of seed. Um, the squirrels have been at these as well, so I've had to kind of fight the, the squirrels with them. Uh, and then along the back there, right here, following that line on the back portion, uh, that's bush beans, and none have come up yet. If you'll look in the back corner right there, where my fingertip is, you'll see some Romanesco broccoli coming up. So that should be uh, taken off here soon. That was pre-seeded indoors, got really leggy too. They're just now really recovering from that. Uh, had a lot of legginess this year, which hopefully next year I'll avoid with uh, greenhouse. So then what I did was <coughs> for, I put the TP trellis down and then I've got peas here on each side of the poles. I've got one planted in the middle and in the next pole I've got two. And that goes that way all the way around. I left one out, one uh, leg out. So as this overgrows, you know, the peas kind of take over this trellis. Uh, you'll have we'll have a place to kind of get in and and know we'll have a place to hide. Hopefully, he won't tear everything up though. <laughs> he's a he's a, a, a monster sometimes. Um, anyway, so then over here we've got carrots, a little carrot patch on this corner. So that's it on the TP trellis. It was really, really easy. I wish I could have made it bigger, but I didn't have my limbs big enough. So, but it's all right. I think it'll be adequate. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this TP trellis video. Now, it's coming up on the end of, of this month, end of March, and we've got a little uh, giveaway going on. So, if you haven't entered that giveaway, why don't you go ahead and do that? You can just, I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can go and, and, uh, and enter that contest. It's real easy. Uh, it's for a little uh, 10 gallon smart pot container. Uh, really cool little thing and, and my potatoes are in so I'll be using my smart pot for my uh, potatoes. So i uh, be looking for that video soon. Uh, also let me explain to you what I did to the ground here. So the ground here was just like this. You know it was just it was covered with uh, grass and, and some weeds and some clover. So I took a shovel full uh, a shovel's depth down and I turned it over and it looked like this right here. So I put this grass on top, flipped it over to where the grass would be on bottom. This smothered the grass and, uh, and killed it pretty well. Um, then what I did after that was I put some, I supplemented the dirt with some ash, uh, some wood ash from my fireplace uh, that had some un, uh, wood that wasn't f uh, fully burned, a little bit of biochar in there. I put some compost in there, some store-bought compost, some of my own compost, and uh, and then I finished it. I topped it off with um, 
these leaves here. You can see these shredded leaves um, that I had uh, extra pile of. So that's kind of my mulch. So I'm going to put some more of those once the seeds come up. That just holds the water in and keeps everything nice and moist. So uh, Luna was a big help. She pretty much stared at me the whole time. And uh, she's enjoying the wind right now. <laughs> it's gusting to about 15, 20 miles an hour. Anyway, we're going to end with a trick. You ready, Liv? And get it. Good girl. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good day.